Troy, the first time you've spoken since Friday night's game, what did you make of the performance against Swindon? I thought it was great. I thought it was a really good performance. Again, uh, we, we've had three games now and four trading sessions, so it's, it's been a real quick turnaround. Not a lot of time to get any detail into what we want to do, but the lads are responding to the information perfectly. We, um, we felt it was, a, it was a poor refereeing display. Um, you know, and obviously I have to apologise for, for, for getting sent off, but it, it, it just felt like, you know, when everything's going against you at this moment, you, you need the refs to be competent and, you know, they, they were poor in, in that situation. Um, I think the Callum Morton one, I could kind of give him a pass for, but in early in the game, maybe a big decision too early was, you know, just caught him off guard. But there's no excuse in the Matty Stevens one. Um, and I just feel like when the lads are giving everything and they're, and they're not only just trying, but they're showing quality, their, their desire, that you've got the fans turning up the way that they did, you know, staying to the end and clapping all the boys, it, it, you know, it's just hard for me to take and I, you know, my emotions get the better of me and obviously I, um, I apologise for that, but I'll always try and give everything for this team and, 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 and try and get where we need to be and where we deserve to be. Because I think anyone who's watched the last three games can see a marked improvement. Um, that's not me being big headed, that's just what everyone's telling me. Um, and, you know, we have to tidy up in both boxes. I think Dad summed it up really well. Um, but we're getting a lot more chances. We're fighting to the end. The lads are in there. I think Alfie Bendel's one at the, at the end, getting cleared off the line. That's, that sums up what we're trying to do. Um, and other than the, the sending off at Newport, I think we've been, you know, real good value. An outsider might look at the last three games and go, only one point. But in terms of the performances, how many more points do you think sort of should have been yielded from that from that little run? Well, obviously you have to work it. Like it's not a fairness table, is it? It's a reality table. So, like if we was going on fairness, we'd have seven points and we'd be we'd be flying. Um, but the reality of it is, we've got one. So we're not going to sit around and, and sulk. We're going to look at what we can do better, what we should do better, and that is finish our chances because we get into really good areas and. We need, to, we need to score more, we need to hit the target more. Um, and once we do that, then it will scare teams off. And I think we need to be better at attacking set pieces as well. We're big lumps and, and we're, not, we're not really getting you know, the, the just rewards, whether that be from a first contact or a second. Um, so we need, to, we need to sharpen up on that. And then defensively, being alert, and you know we've got a young squad, and I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm not making any excuses. We've got a young squad and they're learning on the job. Um, but some of the, the bits they have to they have to know. So when like Marcel heads it back in, he needs to be heading that back to his keeper or heading it out of danger. That's that's one sample size, and I've, I've used Marcel just because we spoke about it, so he's aware. But it's it's understanding and recognizing that dangers come in, and your job as defenders or holding midfielders is to go right. Where's this danger? And what if what if Laurie falls over? We should be here. So just getting those bits in. Um, and then, yeah, obviously letting the, the quality show, but we, we've been in, what, eight days, nine days now? Um, mix that in with Christmas, and mix that in now with a new year. Uh, I think we've got a lot of good things done and, and people are starting to understand what's acceptable and what isn't. And what can we expect from AFC Wimbledon tomorrow? A physical game. Um, they played Swindon the other day, changed at half-time to a four-diamond two, so four-four-two with a diamond. A lot of long ball, a lot of first and second contacts, playing it out wide and crossing it. Essentially, what quite a lot of teams in this league do. Um, so it should be a, a proper League Two game. We will obviously try and combat that and try to uh, put an imprint of our style on that. And again, I think the fans have been watching and they can see what we're what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it. So now, as I say, like we should have more or less everybody back. The little bits of dis ill discipline that we've knocked out in the last couple of days will mean that everyone's available for, for squad selection, and uh, yeah, and we'll be ready to go. And whoever plays has to put their you know their best foot forward. 2023 was a really difficult year for the fans. How yeah. much do you believe that 2024 could could bring around a change with that starting tomorrow? It, it can't be. It could be. It has to be. It has to be better than it has been from, from last year. Uh, 2023, even for myself, has been a mental year. Um, so just figuring out how that is and learning from it means that 24 has to be better. If you see the last couple of games, and again, it's only a sample size, 
we're, we're doing more front footed things, we're being positive, we're trying to imprint and, and stamp on this league who we are. I think we need to do that as a fan base and as a family and um, we certainly need to do that when it comes to refereeing. I think at the moment we're considered little nice forest green across the league. We're starting to change that perception from a physical standpoint and imposing ourselves. But the referees now need to realise as well that we're not just going to take all of the, uh, the poor decisions that we're getting at the moment. I think if you, I think if you would have put the game of being Wrexham, with the decisions that with Wrexham had the decisions that we had the other day, they'd have had two penalties and two people sent off. That's what we've got to get to. So we've got to get to that point where people are, are you know, are, are fearful of what, you know, the, the consequences are for, for poor decisions.